Okay guys, this is just a quick overview and a field test of the Arcbird AAT. Now, AAT stands for the Auto Antenna Tracker by Arcbird. Um, they sent this to me, thank you so much. Um, it was very easy to set up and easy to install. Um, I had a little problem with my receiver, which is not, is not the fault of Arcbird, so I it had a little bit more of a challenge. It would probably have been much simpler uh, if I didn't have that problem, but you can see here, um, I put the camera on the tracker and put it in fast motion just so you can kind of see what it does. And here we go. Um, enjoy the rest of this video. Okay guys, so uh, Arcbird AAT antenna tracker is working awesome. Pretty much flawless. Uh, haven't had any, not even one little glitch with it yet. You can see it's still moving. Alright, I'll put this on top of my hood here. Okay, there we go. That's, that's going to be better. Okay guys, so antenna tracker is working fantastic. Check out this great, uh, hopefully you guys can see this, uh, and really nice uh, feed here. Keeping it below 400 feet, of course actually below 300 actually. Uh, this is a nice field to fly in. Uh, there's rarely any air traffic and when there is, there's usually helicopters we can hear them way before they get to us. And it's only about a 2,000 foot long uh, roadway, so, um, or uh, air, Airfield. I can't think when I'm, I'm flying. So look, I'm flying at the same time. Anyway, um, antenna tracker is working fantastic. As I was saying, I'm gonna. Just gliding along. Okay guys, so a big question is like who would use an antenna tracker? So, you know, I do a lot of out and back runs uh, when I fly FPV, so it's not as important for me, but if you're someone that flies from say at the top of a hill and you're flying all around you, behind you and everything, it's going to be really an ideal situation. Um, so, so that you don't have to worry about which way the, the antenna is tracking. Um, uh, another safety feature of this would be like if you happen to have an emergency, you're trying to control your plane and it's going outside of the beam of your long range antenna, um, it's one less thing you have to worry about pointing your antenna at, in the middle of an, uh, an emergency where you're trying to uh, get gather hold of your uh, of your craft. So, um, but it's a it's a really interesting piece of kit. I mean, I'm not an electronics guy um, as I've said before, and it was really simple to set up. Um, as far as the manual goes and, and how to set it up, it was a little difficult um, from the descriptions in the uh, manual, uh, but um, luckily there are some really good guys out there, Sergio Sergio and also uh, Awenzel, on, and I'll link their channels below, uh, that have some really nice videos on how to set this up and how to not lose, uh, and how to calibrate it and whatnot, and they really, really helped me out. Um, uh, I wish um, that Arcbird would actually rewrite their um, manual because it is somewhat semi-confusing of the procedure of getting this thing calibrated. Now I calibrated it today because it was just slightly off. I just moved it uh, about 10 degrees to the right, which I think for our, our part of the globe is uh, 10 degrees to offset anyway, or 15 degrees. And man, this thing is tracking dead on right now. So anyway, thank you Arcbird for sending me this awesome product. I really appreciate it and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. So guys, I'll be posting follow-up videos on the Arcbird AAT. This is probably about my third flight with the AAT and I really have gotten a feel for it. You do not have to calibrate it every time that you go out to the field, which is something I didn't know. I, I kind of had to test. Um, but all my expectations have been met. Um, it is a very good quality piece of uh, machinery. There was a few things I had to do to it in the beginning, uh, which I'll go over in a subsequent video. Um, you can see here uh, the the unit tracking the airplane pretty nicely here. It never skipped a beat. And uh, once again, thank you so much to Arcbird, uh, and I will see you guys on the next video. Oh, <laughs> dude, two awesome landings in a row. <laughs> nice. Ow! Damn it! <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> That is an awesome bird, I tell you. That's uh, my favorite, favorite, favorite FPV plane. Not my For favorite, now. favorite plane. It's my favorite FPV plane. What's your most favorite, favorite plane? God, I don't know.
And uh, here we have some B-roll footage from my run cam too. You can kind of see the tracker in action and a little time lapse here that we have going on here. Just so you kind of get a feel for what my setup is. It's kind of nice. I have the LCD um, screen and its own receiver. In case the uh, antenna tracker ever failed, I had something as a backup. It's kind of nice to know, you know, as you're first feeling out these components because you don't want to risk your craft uh, right away. So it's nice to ease into it.